Hi, do you know how coal fissure titration curve looks like? Here it is. Coal fissure titration is used to determine the water content present in any anoxic. So here on y on y axis it is a rate constant k and on x axis the pH of the uh, solution is taken. So in the beginning, as pH changes slowly, the titration curve, the rate constant k means the rate constant is also slowly increasing. But after some particular point, 5.5 around 5.5 to 8 or 8 point something, in this range, the graph is linear. There, it is running parallel to x-axis. So what does it mean? In this range, all the water that is present in any substance or in the analyte that is fully consumed. So what this line indicates, in this area, all the water present in the analyte is completely consumed. That's why a linear line is clear here. So what about this? In the coefficient titration, we will use iridine, isn't it? Iridine, iodine, and uh, sulfur dioxide of this. So due to all these buffer conditions, there may be some side reactions takes place. So this line indicates side reactions. So this is how a coefficient titration looks like. In the less than pH, log k increases linearly with increasing the pH. Between 5.5 to 8, the reaction rate is constant. What it indicates where the complete water is consumed at pH greater than 8, side reactions probably occur in the coefficient titration. So this is the graph or kinetics of coefficient titration reaction. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this session.